This is the HK VP9L Optic Ready. It is a semi-auto 9mm with a longer than normal slide, some fancy weight reduction, and a cut for an optic. I have two questions. Does it stand out against the normal VP9, and is it any good? We'll find out after this. Vertex makes some of the best EDC bags and gear around. Whether you're looking for a backpack, a messenger bag, or maybe something for your pup. They've got features like a rapid access weapon compartment, padded backing, a hot pull tab for quick access to the main compartment, and much, much more. Oh, and did I mention their jeans make my legs look better? <laughs> Seriously, I can do so many high kicks in these. And guys, if you want to get a huge discount, head over to Vertex, that's V-E-R-T-X dot com, and use our code TGC to get a whopping 25% off everything. Go do it. To give context here, I've been a fan of HK for a long time. I've owned a few, and as of the filming of this video, I carry a standard VP9 every day. I requested this gun from HK because I wanted to know if it made me want to like start a new main quest or if it was just a side mission. I'll run down the specs and then we'll shoot it. To keep this brief, I'll just tell you the differences that it has from the standard gun. The barrel has been lengthened by one inch to five inches. They've added the USP style O-ring for a tight lockup. The slide is obviously longer. <laughs> of course, it's a long slide, but also has a bunch of weight removed from the cuts near the nose. Beyond that, it has an optic cut and comes with 20 round mags. Otherwise, it's got the same features as every other VP9 out there. As far as the shooting experience goes, it was really good. The gun ran 100% out of the box. It ate any kind of ammo we could find, which is a big deal in times like these. The trigger was nice. The ergonomics are some of my favorite in the industry. It just locks into my hand. It's not really shocking considering I carry one. And the 20 round mags are a nice touch. Thoughts? I mean, it feels good in the hand. The trigger is a little crunchy feeling. <laughs> okay, maybe that'll smooth out. Yeah, we'll see. It felt a lot like my daily VP9, so much that I was struggling to find my thoughts on it. This left me with a bunch of questions. Is it supposed to feel different? Like maybe it's just supposed to feel the same. Feels a lot like a VP9. <laughs> How did you like the trigger? I didn't notice it to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, I didn't notice it. I'm such a trigger I'm snob, I swear. I'm gonna try mine to see if I really notice a difference or not. It appears to use the exact same recoil spring setup and perhaps they trimmed enough weight to make that happen intentionally. If that is true, then the real benefits are gonna be the longer sight radius and extra inch of barrel. The sight radius is negated if you decide to use an optic and the inch of barrel length to me helps, but I'd rather have a slightly heavier, maybe smoother feeling gun to go with that. From there, my mind starts to wander to USPSA and IDPA competition, an area where I have very little experience. Perhaps the reason it feels just like its less endowed brother is that it's supposed to. Maybe it's perfect for that type of competition, but at the same time, if it's meant for that, why not lean into that competition style harder with like a better trigger or different sights? Perhaps we need to have a channel like Work the Trigger or Humble Marksman take a look at this thing and come at it from that competition angle. From our angle, this is a great gun. It's a great gun because it's basically a VP9 with extra cheese. Very American of me, extra cheese. Great reliability, good trigger, good ergos, and of course, 20 round max. When I start thinking of how I would employ this gun on a regular basis, I think it would live in my Vertex bag coupon code below TGC 25% off as my backup or secondary pistol that uses the exact same mags that I carry and can be used for solving problems with a little extra flavor. Being that this gun is a very limited run for HK, it's unlikely that this is gonna be some commercial sensation for the brand, but that's okay. Limited runs are always fun to play with and even better to show off years down the road. I wanna know what you guys think. Do you think this fills a need that the regular Optic Ready VP9 doesn't? Would you grab one of these over other brands with similar features? Sound off in the comments so we can talk about it. If you guys enjoyed this review, please hit the like button to feed the beast. Feed me. I'm starving. Must be blood. Must be fresh. Feed me.
If you think we've earned it, get subscribed as well. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. That was 20 already? That might have been 18. <laughs> you want me to do something different? Sure. What do you want me to do? Do a dance. No. <laughs> do a jig. <laughs> <laughs>